since I've updated you guys from the orchard here. Um, figured I'd do that quick. I'm down here, pick some apples. My students requested apples from my orchard, so I figured I'd come grab some. Um, I've already picked a bunch of them, so I don't have many to show, but um, I think I picked all my, my aunts picked all of the Sweet 16. I picked, there was two Red Baron on that tree there. Um, this one's a New York Bonkers. This was the one and only apple on that one. I think that's a later apple, so I'm gonna let that one hang for a bit. Um, these two downed ones here, or these two here, I'm sorry. This downed one was loaded. They picked all that, it looks like there's only one or two left on this tree. Oh, there's three of them up there still. Way up high. You got the apple picker there. Loaded with clover. I overseeded the clover with some rye that's coming up too. Um, this one still has a bunch of apples up high. This one has a bunch of apples there. Bunch down here for the deer to eat too. Arkansas black. Looks like that's dropped a couple actually. I have to grab those. Cut them open to see what disease or bugs or something now. It's a good grower for me. Planner. That one, I don't know, this one's a, a crab apple from St. Lawrence Nursery. If one of you guys could tell me what crab apple that is, that'd be sweet. I had the viola, I had a, I had viola, winter wildlife, and all winter hangover. And I planted one of those at my uncle's this year. This one is still here, and this far one ended up getting eaten by some deer a little bit. This one had a little smaller crab on it. It's a long stem, so I don't know what those two are. If you know, let me know. Um, I think this one's a Harrelson. It's a biannual bear. I thinned it this spring, but I guess, I don't think I thinned it enough. No broken branches yet, but pretty loaded. red over here. Can't wait to eat these ones. Last year they were awesome. Probably my favorite apple I've ever had. Hoping that bugs stay away. They're huge. That's a big old apple. Stick up my hand. Look at that sucker. Um, like I said, I had a red bear in here. My enterprise that died from last winter. Clovers coming in really good. You can kind of see some rye poking up through there. Looks like there's some brows. I don't know if you can see that there. Probably not. Some brows on this. And then a Harrelson that I have. Plan on picking maybe today. Before some bugs get to them. I don't know, there's some spiders that are on Arkansas Black and now this one. Might pick those just to get them before something else does try them. I think, I I know this one's Harrelson. I think that one's Harrelson. I'm not sure exactly what it was. The one that has all those apples on it. It, uh, Seems to me that it has the, the makeup of the Harrelson. These are the ones I planted this spring. Looking pretty good. Walk over here. My pumpkins must have got planted too late. Didn't have enough water. Not enough heat, I don't know, all of the above maybe. Because this is about 
as big as they got. They kind of got that yellow tint to it all year, so that kind of sucked. Um, Sweet 16, pristine. Small little pumpkin that's worthless. I don't remember. Um, what is that one? Fireside. I wanted to show you this one. This is a frostbite that was loaded this spring. Tons of blossoms. Had a lot of apples take. But. They are some deformed suckers. I have no idea. I'm not positive what it is. I've been told apple maggots are a possibility. Oops. But that's an example of one of them. It's gonna be just deer food this year. Here's another one I'll pick. weird but yeah that's the orchard this year over there in my crab apples I picked about a dozen centennial crab earlier and uh, a chestnut crab and that was that was all my apples a Franklin that's the next tree and then I Honeycrisp, the one after that, so. I uh, decided to go hunting way back in there last night, and uh, I think that was a mistake because I got to the edge of the, the food plot over there and I was gonna go through where those trees are and the deer took off from right in that little inlet there, so. Plan on hanging a stand over here. Just never got to it, should have done it story of my life turnips are starting to yellow I don't know if it's because they're maturing if you look there there's some big old purple tops in there the smaller ones are still green or if it's running out of nitrogen but some big leaves there hopefully will at least feed some deer into the winter That must have been a Vivant brassica there. Not a Vivant. Uh, crap, I forget the name of it now. Tillage radish there. Radishes got eaten pretty early. Um, Winfred. That's a Winfred brassica there. I can't think of the name. Here's purple top. There you go. Happy Sun Saturday, uh, the 28th I think it is.